There are 10 things that you need to have in your home gym that most people just don't think about. And if you don't have one of these in your home gym, you're making a serious mistake. And no, it's not for what you think it's for. And if you're like me, you've probably found that your garage gym feels bare, cold and gloomy, and you have no motivation to do any workouts in there. Mike, it's nine o'clock in the morning, man. But my challenge now is to see if I can get these things sorted in my home gym without breaking the bank. I know I'm not the only one who can't stand touching a barbell on a freezing cold winter's day. But whatever you do, make sure you don't put on a pair of gloves. Otherwise you'll get abuse in Facebook groups like this. So that's exactly why the two things I'm about to show you should be top of your list. I've got to actually try and figure out how to insulate a garage door. Hopefully, my trusty handyman, YouTube, will help me out again. In fact, there was this guy who tested six different types of garage door insulation and figured out pricing and how good they were. Now, I'm not very handy, so I want to get something that is simple, but will also insulate my door pretty well. I went with the rigid foam insulation, and it seems like it's better than the cheap reflective insulation, but not as hard as DIY Fred's method. And I'm not in the USA, so I don't even know what Owen's corning is. Here's my best bet. In comes the corner from Redknapp, Ince. It's Owen! I also really want a heater because I'm not as manly as some of those people who troll others in groups because they wear gloves when they work out. There are tons of heaters and AC units out there, but if you've got a quite a small space like I have, just a cheapy two-in-one heater fan will take the edge off in the winter and can provide a bit of ventilation in the summer. What's the difference between this and this? What, you mean some clever editing on the camera? Well, no, there are clearly two things that are very different. Now, it's pretty dingy in that garage. I know two simple ways to make things seem a little bit brighter. I simply added some white paint and I also got this light. Now, you can buy some really expensive lights like these or you could go with some of the basic ones because it's more than enough for this small space. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? As long as you can see yourself when you're working out, you're fine. That's actually one of the most sensible things you've said all day. Duffel cup. So it never feels like hard work, skiing or scuba diving or mountain climbing. And what's the reason for that? Because you paid loads of money to do them? No, silly. It's because I enjoy the environment or places that I enjoy to be. So this is a step that should not be overlooked by anyone. Not even by me. Especially not by you. Go and have a shower, man. So I'm looking for something to put in my gym. That makes it feel a little bit more appealing. I mean, I reckon a TV and a PlayStation will make me want to be in there a bit more. So it could be some posters, some inspirational quotes that you like, but I've got this as a start. So here it is. It's a bit small, but it actually looks better than what I thought it would. Oh, that's exactly what I said to my Tinder date last night. There is no shame, is there? You need to go a bit lower, mate. Yeah. And your knees buckled a bit. Yeah. The annoying thing is, you could well be right, but there's no way of me knowing. Ah, oh, that's better. Now I can see. How does he keep doing that? The great thing about mirrors is that it makes your space seem bigger and brighter. But obviously the main benefit is you can check your form with immediate feedback. You can buy some decent ones on that Facebook marketplace secondhand, but I just got the really cheap ones off Ikea and you can get them. He does realize we can see him. Isn't he? Seriously, are you gonna tell me why you like this so much? It seems like a pain in the bum to me. Yeah, well, obviously it's great for what you're doing right now, but I find it's quite useful for doing things like this. Personally, I have terrible issues with my right shoulder and I've been doing mobility exercises that helped to loosen it up over the years. Now, obviously something like a leaf blower is way easier at just getting the dust and debris, but this is why I always like to have a broom 
in the gym for purely those mobility exercises. Well, that explains why you have a stick up your ass all the time. Or would you please just go back inside and drink some beer or something? Now, a one to clock as is always a pain in the bum having to look at my phone mid-workout. I don't know about you, but I feel like 10 minutes just disappears like that. Every time I pick it up, I just get lost on the Strong Home Gym channel. So I found this clock, which is battery powered. It looks a bit small and it is for a kitchen, but we'll see. Right, well, <laughs> this is pretty small, but it's more than enough for what I actually really need it for. I'll test it out and see how it goes. I find I'm way more efficient when I can see the time ticking and it keeps my rest periods down. Oh, Mike. What are you doing here now? I told you to stay out of the way. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm just, it's my workout time. So why are you watching videos of Taylor Swift singing like a goat? The one thing I want to avoid as much as possible is the need to have my phone during workouts. I know I just get too distracted using it for anything. So this is part of the reason I always get a clock, but it's also the main reason that I found this whiteboard. It means I don't need to rely on an app during my workout. So don't get me wrong, I do track my workouts on an app, but I try to do it at the end of a workout. Oh my God, I just crushed so much candy. What I like to do is use this tape to create the lines, because then it means you don't rub off the lines, it really helps. And then I just create my weeks across the top. And then what I do is I do the exercises, the weight by reps by sets but i mean you can do kind of whatever you want you are such a geek oh your breath stings oh, would you please just tidy up after yourself i did no you didn't there's stuff all over the place well it's better than where i had put it before i genuinely don't even want to know so these shelves were already here when i moved into this place but they're not too hard to put up. In fact, I removed a whole set of them over here, but here are some tips to make your storage even better. Buy cheap magnetic hooks, buy hooks like this as a barbell storage, or even get some S hooks. I'm a firm believer in using what you have access to. Put some nails on the wall or anything to hang things up off the floor. It will save a ton of time. You don't need to go and buy one of those shiny home gym storage gizmos. Mike. Mike. Mike! What? 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 What are you doing? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just, uh, I'm in the zone. I've got my tunes. I'm gonna be the very best. No one in the world. To be fair, he's got a point again. Now, you can go and buy an all singing and dancing surround sound system, or you can be cheap like me and use something you have already. We use it so little inside the house, I think I may just keep it in here anyway from now on. Just don't tell the wife. Mike, what are you doing now? Well, you know how I really like magnets. Oh, here we go again. I was thinking, how about we just magnetize everything oh for the love of so my phone already has that little magnetic key thing on the case um, but it's pretty crap and i've been meaning to get one for the car anyway you know like a little car phone holder thing so i actually think that crazy mike might have a point here Despite me hating it when he's right, it does look like there are some pretty good options for phone magnets out there. But it's a bit of a minefield as some of the reviews say the magnets suck and I've just ended up down a rabbit hole of looking at phone magnets for like an hour. Now, it doesn't have to be a magnet on your phone. It could be a camera tripod you already have. To be honest, it could even be the old balance, the dumbbell, put your phone there to record yourself trick. Aha, I knew you'd done that before as well. Well, yeah, it's a really good idea to check your form because otherwise you might end up looking like that. So as you can see, there's more to it than actually just slapping together the essential four items in your home gym. I covered these items when I was challenged to build my home gym in under 24 hours for under $1,000 by my wife. 
And while it certainly is possible to do amazing workouts with just those four items for a very long time, it gets even better when you use some very useful things lying around your house that will 10x your home gym quickly. And you can find out these super helpful tips by watching this video next. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Oh, would you just... Oh, would you just... Please!